What is good YouTube, JB here and this is going to be episode 4 of my How to Make Easy Coin series for NCAA Ultimate Team. In this video I'm going to show you a silver player trading method, of a trading method where we pretty much focus on silver players. So you see I've sped up the video just a little bit, um, you know, just to speed it up, but you can still see everything. Here we searched up, so we're searching silver players, we're going to compare them to gold player prices to find out if they're actually worth it. We find punters, there's barely any punters up silver or gold, so if someone gets out of a game and is like, damn I need to get a new punter they're not gonna buy those gold guys because they're pretty expensive here's this someone listed this silver guy for 1200 coins I'm buying him now and I'm gonna relist him up uh, right away for uh, somewhere in the middle I'm gonna put him up obviously not up there at 15,000 coins but if I put him somewhere around 8,000 coins someone's gonna you know they're seriously gonna consider getting this guy instead of paying double and getting one of those gold guys so uh, this this player is gonna easily flip and then after we get this player up I'm gonna show you how to exactly what you do pretty much it's a, it's the same technique the same idea as the previous episode when you're filtering out the gold players by position but this time we're just gonna do it with silver players and uh, you're, you're gonna see some good steals it's very easy and I'm gonna take you through the whole process I didn't want to cut any out right here one of my players just ended up selling so uh, you, you see I, I have tons of coins uh, not tons of coins but a lot more coins now and then I have a lot more coins um, you know mixed up in players I have on auction so here all you gotta do is uh, look up silver players and then just kinda scroll through uh, look through each position filter out the lowest buy now and eventually you're gonna find a deal eventually you just have to keep doing this and uh, you know I just do this once every couple hours and so this is just lot um, you know just sped up but this is exactly what I was doing just a little bit sped up and and the reason silver players are kind of in demand, uh, let me tell you, the reason they're in demand is because uh, people want to upgrade their starter pack teams. That's what they're trying to do. They're tr they get out of the game and they're like, shit, I need a better lineman. I need better O-line. Well, here you go. We filtered it out. We get this guy for 700 coins and the next lowest buy now is 2,000. So uh, that's at least 1,000 coins profit there. So we're going to you know, list him back up again also. And then we're, we're checking the golds because you always want to compare them to the golds. And there's no cheaper gold for damn sure right there. So we're going to go ahead, go back out and list him up for just under um, just under the next lowest buy now which was 2,000 coins we're gonna put him up for like 1,800 coins so that way he flips he sells and and that's a thousand coins profit if you put if you bought him for 700 put him up for 18 you just made a thousand coins and um, the the reasoning behind this method the thought process behind this method is it's not to find one big buy and to flip them for a lot of coins is to buy it's to find multiple players and just flip them for small profits but keep doing it multiple times because if you flip four or five players for uh, a th you know a thousand coin profits here we find another one just it's too easy right here and so uh, you know next low is buy now is 2000 we picked him it might have been the same person who put him up I don't even know but we're gonna put him up for 1800 as well and then we gotta check the golds just to make sure that the gold isn't gonna you know conflict with the silver card but the, the thought process is that if you sell four or five cards for a thousand coins profit it's it's easier to do that than to search long and hard to find that one deal where you where you pick up a player like six seven thousand coins below value so you can flip them so this is actually easier it's gonna save you time it's gonna make you a lot more coins so that's why I'm showing you this method and all these players are gonna sell easily so uh, just in this in this video in one little trading session I, I at least made like six to seven thousand coins and and that only took me about five or ten minutes to do on the console so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a like want to hear your feedback as always and uh, drop a like take care everyone look out for more episodes and peace